What's up guys, this video we're gonna show you the best parts of the red pill, black pill, and even the blue pill community. We're gonna cut through all the BS and save you guys months worth of research and give you guys the actual good stuff that you can absorb from each one of these pills. So nowadays online, you see a massive amount of debate about red pill versus black pill versus blue pill. Everyone thinks their pill is right. Everyone thinks the other pill is wrong. People become very ideologically tied to whatever pill they identify as. But the truth is, is that there's elements of truth in every single one of these pills. There's some things that the red pill gets right, some things that the black pill gets right, and even a few things the blue pill gets right. And there's also a lot of things that each one of these pill gets wrong. So this is gonna be the ultimate TLDR version. You're like, dude, I wanna spend fucking months of my life researching each one of these pills. I just wanna get to the truth, this is gonna be the video for you. So let's kick it off with talking about the blue pill. So believe it or not, there's actually one thing the blue pill is correct about, and that's the importance of emotional intimacy, right? And the importance of building a connection. So the red pill believes that basically your relationship is gonna be a result of your value as a man, which is essentially looks money status. The black pill believes it's largely looks, but it is all those things, but also the emotional investment you have from your girlfriend and the connection you have is essentially important and none of the other pills talk about besides the blue pill. Now, of course, the blue pill things is essentially just your emotional connection and just being yourself, right? But that's not it. There's a lot more to it than that, which is your value as a man. So again, the truth is, is that the success of your relationship is gonna be determined by your value as a man and also the level of connection and emotional intimacy you have with your girlfriend, right? Emotional investment is very, very important. There's plenty of guys who are richer than me, who are, have higher status than me, me, who are better looking than me, who might hit on my girlfriend. However, she's not gonna go with any of them because there's a massive amounts of emotional investment that she has for me. And really the blue pill is the only one that talks about it. Also, the importance and the value of relationships. Now look, I'm not saying that everyone should be in a relationship. I've done the casual hookup thing. Now I'm in a happy relationship. They're both fun in their own way. However, being in a relationship, I will say, for me at least, is much more fulfilling than having a bunch of one night stands, right? Because again, of the intimacy and the connection you have with your partner, right? And again, that is something that no one really talks about besides the blue pill that kind of gloss over the importance of relationships. The red pill basically thinks, yeah, the whole point of a relationship is just having kids, right? Your woman stays at home, she cleans, but they never talk about the partnership, the companionship, the love, the intimacy you get from being in a successful, happy relationship. So that's what the blue pill gets correct. But pretty much everything else the blue pill gets wrong, it kind of talks about this fairy tale thing of just be yourself and eventually you're gonna meet the right girl. Just be yourself is wonderful advice if you're a man who's naturally attracted to women, which is a very small percentage of men, is bad advice for everyone else. Let's move on to the red Red pill. So the red pill basically believes looks, money, status. So you should level up as a man. You should, you know, try to improve your looks by going to the gym. You know, try to level up your money, get your status up, self-improve, and that's going to basically take care of everything for you, right? Women are going to be more attracted to you if you self-improve, right? Self-improvement is great. I highly encourage it. However, just self-improving it's not actually gonna allow you to get more girls, right? Uh, maybe not, maybe long-term it will, like you're gonna be more likely to be in a successful relationship because you know yourself better, but short-term in terms of attracting women, getting dates, it's gonna do absolutely nothing for you. Women don't have an app that says, oh, Johnny from down the street just self-improved, you know, he's a lot more grounded now, I better go there and suck his dick, right? Your success with women is gonna be primarily determined by your game, your sexual market value, which is looks, right? And also your volume, right? That is the formula that's gonna determine success with women. Also, the Red Pill community focuses way too much on the money part, right? Because if you think about it logically, right? Status is something that the vast majority of men are not gonna be able to do. Not everyone's a YouTuber or an influencer or can be a CEO of their company. So status is a road that's closed off for 99% of men. So that leaves us with money. Now, money is a road that every man can embark on, right? Every man can level up his finances and become to a point where they're financially successful. However, is that actually gonna help you attract women? And the answer is no unless you're going for sugar babies. So the Red Bull community massively overvalues the importance of money and finances, right? Again, making money is great. It, there's a lot of benefits to being financially successful. It's just that having better relationship with women is not one of them, right? So yeah, it comes down to your sexual market value, which is we're gonna get into the black pill. Then we have also your game, which I think none of these pills really talk about. The red pill talks about the most, but really it's the pickup community that talks about game and of course your volume, the amount of girls that you talk to. That's gonna be the formula that's gonna determine your success. But the parts of the red pill are, that are correct is the importance of self-improvement just in terms of your own worth as a man, right? So self-improvement is great. It's not gonna help you get girls, but it is gonna make you more happy, more fulfilled. You should absolutely go to the gym. You should get in good shape 
right? You should become more grounded. You should absolutely work on your finances to become financially independent. And if you're in a field where status is an option, then you should pursue that as well because it's gonna make you more respect in your community, right? Things like reading, stuff like that. Uh, you know, also understanding that not all women can be trusted, having strong boundaries, all that stuff is great. And the red pill community is the one that talks about that. Let's move on to the black pill. So what I love about the black pill is the focus on leveling up your looks because that is a key part of my formula, right? So uh, looks maxing. However, what is unfortunate is the vast majority of black pillars haven't actually looks maxed themselves. They just sit on the internet and they cry and complain about how they're too ugly to be successful women and these chats are taking all the girls, which is why I really, really respect channels like Men's Maxing who literally just focuses on practical black pill solutions, practical ways that you can looks max and become one of these legendary chats, right? That is what I love. However, unfortunately, that's a very small part of the black pill community. And I would love to see more of that. But again, I think the black pill completely overvalues the importance of looks, right? They think it's like 90 or 100% of the equation. It's not. Game is also a very fundamental, important part of the equation, right? That the black pill community completely ignores because they don't even believe that game exists, or at least most of them don't. So again, so the black pill community is right in terms of increasing your looks and that looks are important. The blue pill community will say, oh, looks don't really matter. Everyone has their own type. You know, it's just a matter of preference. That's not true. There are objective beauty standards and you can become more attractive by, for example, you know, having better facial hair, uh, getting a hair transplant, uh, going to the gym and becoming Jack, losing weight. There are things you can do to become objectively more attractive, right? That the black belt community talks about. However, don't become obsessed with looks. It's not the only things that matter. And it's a very important to keep in mind that you have some level of control over your looks. If you're a guy who's like a four or five, you're never gonna be a 10, but you can become a six or seven. Everyone can increase their sexual market value, i.e. their looks by two, sometimes even two and a half points, right? Maybe even three points if you're willing to go above and beyond. So that's an important thing to keep in mind. So as you can see, there's elements of truth in each one of these communities. What you don't wanna do, what I urge you guys not to do is to become ideologically tied to a certain pill because what happens when you do that is you feel like you have to agree with everything that that pill talks about, right? Because if you don't, that's basically your identity being attacked. So don't tie your identity to one of these pills. That is a very, very silly way to live your life. Take the best parts of each one of these pills and apply them for you. Avoid identifying as any pill because again, that is silly. You wanna be a man who thinks for yourself instead of a man who has other people think for him. All right, hopefully you guys found this video valuable and if you're enjoying this type of content, all I ask is that you guys hit the like button, hit subscribe, click the bell for notification and share this video with a friend or two, especially if it's a friend who identifies as a certain pill. That's a good way to get them to challenge their beliefs. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time.